Hello, internet. Hello, and welcome to OKLCS season three, week four. Yep, day two. I guess you would say. Yeah. Um, day two. We're gonna be getting into uh, some more gold cap games. Uh, mm -hmm. We only have the one series for you tonight between the Legends in Training yes. and the Swasu LOL Club. Um, we'll be getting into game one of that series in just a moment here. Uh, just a reminder, we do ask you to make sure you cooperate with the other captains, make sure you can get your games <laughs> scheduled so that yep. we don't have to have these types of conflicts. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the game. Let's get into it. It is, of course, uh, the Legends in Training on the blue side versus the Swasu LOL Club on the red side. They're quite the front line on the side of Legends in Training. Yeah, Olaf right off the bat, you can literally just see how beefy the champions are. <laughs> you just the, got Olaf like, standing bruh. there with his <laughs> steak axe. And <laughs> quite a beefy team comp. On the other side, dogs. Yeah. Dogs, dogs, yeah. Dogs and We're the ball that they want to fetch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. But yeah, despite having that Nasus and Warwick, not good, not good, still not as tanky of a front line. Yeah. Like, you can't really compare to... Zach, Zach Olaf Nautilus. Yeah. And I mean, it's been a while. Like, Olaf top has not been meta for a very long time, ever since people are like, oh, he's a really good jungler, you know? Mm -hmm. And he kind of actually does fall off quite a bit as the game goes on in mm -hmm. the top lane. But up against the Nasus, you know, Olaf is a champion that can really abuse Nasus's early game. Yes. Uh, he has a lot of chase potential yeah. in the early game. Just and a lot of you damage. Get, just like... Throw the undertow and it's like it, it hits. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna all in you here at level one. <laughs> if if this Nasus does go the somewhat popular right now um, E Max build and he starts shoving the wave, that's gonna put him in quite a bit of trouble yeah. against the Olaf because Wither, especially in the early ranks, is not gonna save him from yeah. And then after an after level six, I mean, lane. you got Ragnarok and just like, hey, yep. <laughs> have fun withering you. Not really. Either. I guess we I guess we could probably expect to see him either go Hydra or Black Cleaver first item. I mean, probably. Probably the Black Cleaver first item yeah. is what I would assume from the Olaf here. You know, I actually really haven't seen that Ash, Project Ash dance. It's kind of nice. Oh, you haven't little, seen little it? Beat. Yeah, crazy. no, I actually... Nobody, nobody dances in my games, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we've been seeing more and more Sona pop up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shield, shield and heal supports are very popular nowadays. And we're moving into an, a meta where Ardent Sensor is actually like considered one of the like most overpowered items in the game. Socks taking a lot of harass early on here. He's down to oh below gosh. half already. Ash I mean, and Sona both have some pretty easy poke, and if you don't have Nautilus up there giving the threat of an all-in, then well, let's you're going to take a lot of poke. Both top laners are uh, sort of in, in ignoring the wave, trying to uh -oh. shut down some rest on each other. Ghostlands minus, he takes a lot of damage there when he gets That was the all-in I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the Nautilus got onto that Sona, and they did a lot of damage. Or Anthony already popping his ghost, afraid of potential all-in at level 2 from Singularity, which is what we talked about, too. <laughs> Smart of him to start the cloth armor. It's gonna reduce a lot of uh, early undertow damage. He does finally hit his level two here, but missing a decent chunk of CS under the tower. Now the way this comp is set up for Legends of Training, a lot of the game is gonna come down to like if Zerath can hit his skill shots. He's gonna probably be able to play most of these team fights from well beyond the range. Of Swasu. Yeah. He's got three tanks and a mid range AD carry that the other team's gonna be, you know, messing with before they even get close to him. So if and he can like, hit these skill shots, he's gonna have a huge impact in these fights yeah, without getting touched. this is a really smart pickup on the in the form of the Olaf, especially against the Ash. You're just gonna run down the immobile AD carry and her one form of self heal that you'd expect the mechanical Sarah is not gonna have any effect. The Swasu Little World Club is getting engaged on by Legends and Training, but they're like, hey, let's turn this around. Is they're stacking split. a lot of spears here. Yeah, there's a lot of spears in the Ghost of Minus. There's the Ren they used already with Summer Heal. There's the Flash Forward. Socks picks up First Blood. Wax is now turning it around. He gets the Ranger's Focus and now Shmogan turning away, running for his life. But there's a lot of minions turning onto Wax now. Well, he did go down, but he didn't get First Blood, so I guess he kind of came out on top in that one. Socks. Uh, the Legends in training a little bit too hesitant. They think they could have turned onto Swasu a lot earlier. And Wax now, he's oh. like, oh, oh, there's the flash no. board and Shmogan gonna pick up a solo kill onto the AD carry. He knew what his oh, champion was doing. Oh, there's the last thing fight. He's gonna knock Anthony into the air. He has no flash, he has no ghost. He's going down very low. Singularity picks up the kill. 
good gank by uh, Zach there, and without having your summoners up, or your one summoner, I guess, without having your summoner up, you know, you gotta be a little bit careful of a champion like Zach and those unique gank patterns. Just assume he's coming for you if you're having a rough lane phase. Smoking, turning it around, going back in on the Ghost of the Finest, but he got the shield, he's got some damage, there's socks coming in the backside, there's the dredge line, it's gonna pull him back in. He doesn't have the root, but he does slow him up, that's a lot of damage on the Ghost of the Finest, while his AD carry's not even in the lane. So yeah, sure Smoking is doing work while his AD carry isn't even here. He's harassing the enemy, support, killing the enemy. I'm not gonna land on the Shinobi, but Shinobi very low on mana, Dustball able to get some free damage in, but does take the Clockwork wind up as well as the Thunderlord from Garden Shinobi. And Oriana kind of has a hard time with champions who can match her wave push in the early game. Who, yeah, she, as you can see, she's out. Yeah, and Dustball with that uh, Zerat passive is going to be able to auto onto Guardian Shinobi for some free mana back. Continue yeah. to shove the wave in. It's one thing Shinobi needs to try and be aware of. Is he, he, the Zerat is probably going to try to go for his auto attacks, but he doesn't have the highest auto range, and that's like that's an opportunity right there to put a little bit of damage. No opportunity when you have no mana. Right? Yeah, no, not when you have no mana. Oh, Ghostland Finest base checks into the bottom lane of Legends and Training gets pulled in with the dredge line. They're not going to get too much damage, but the Ren's still coming out. Wax now getting rooted up. Yeah, since yeah, already now the fight. Yeah, don't fight while standing in the Spirit Fire. You'll just die. Minion See? damage reduced on reduced armor is going to hurt quite a bit at this point in the game. I guess even though that looked like it was about to get bloody in the bot lane, they just backed away. Or swatsing. Oh, oh. Slank's gonna pull him in, but he's under tower. tower. He's taking a lot of damage there. That's three tower shots. He might go down here. Wax moving forward. He did not have either summoner. Singularity now fighting onto Lord Anthony, but he's still got the uh, Fury of the Sands. He's gonna turn around on Singularity. He pops his ghost. He does not have Ragnarok. If the Wither comes out, he's gonna get slowed up. But he's still got ghost running. He will be able to make it out of there. There's a stun onto Guardian Shinobi, there's some damage, there's another proc, he's gonna ride to the arcane, flash away from Guardian Shinobi, he'd already nice used the barrier, he will pick up a kill, Dustball picks up one. It's both subs, and he's still got the kill. And the top lane, had he been level 6, had Singularity been level 6, he might have been able to take that fight, but oh, no, he didn't have his ult, and he fought in the E, like we talked mm -hmm. about, in the, um, Spirit Fire. Spirit Fire, thank you. Oh, Schmogen and Socks, they baited oh, it out, no. Wax is now in trouble, he's rooted in place, pulled in by the dredge line, it's not gonna matter, Socks will rend the arrows right out of him, pick up a kill. You can't play that far up when you don't have vision of the enemy bottom lane, your support's off to the side warding. The Nautilus has been doing a good job of having controlled aggression, you know, like that's that's the key thing when you're in these less than favorable matchups. You know, the enemy team, their or enemy bot lane, they're both ranged, they have sustained. You don't bring sustain to your bot lane. You can't sustain yourself even. You've got to, you know, make the best of these little opportunities you get to fight the enemy bot lane or you're gonna fall behind pretty quickly. It's a tank versus a mage yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Range versus melee support matchups is always gonna be exactly. Rough. So, he's doing a good job of using that all-in potential that's there. And, uh, Sox is going for this, uh, the Blade of the Rune King first item on Callista. That's one of the big reasons why Callista's coming back in the favor, but hold on a second, we're gonna see Shogo come in to the mid lane. There's an Elastic Sing Shot under Guardian Shinobi, but there's a minion blocking away the stun. Dustball slows him up with that one. There's the stun, they pull back in by Shockwave. There's some more damage coming down, Dustball's just autoing him down, but he will be able to make it out of there, having to burn the Shockwave as a di form of disengage. Are going a little bit low is jungle despite being yeah we haven't seen this warwick come out of the jungle at all he's 8 cs up over shogo who's made a lot of games happen and zach's a pretty good champion at taking some of those camps like uh Krugs or raptors and that usually helps his cs a good bit oh Schmogen coming forward swasu lol club we'll back away here Dustball gets the ward, he oh. sees Redwater, who has no smite up, he's gonna try and get a cheeky steal onto the red buff, but... I'll be interested to see if Olaf is tempted to take the swiftness just because he gets annoyed. I don't think that's what he shouldn't take, necessarily. It's not Ninja a bad place, so but, yeah, here. Oh, and there's the w pull on the draw down level of Wax, he's gonna knock out. There's another knockout coming out. The Enchanted Crystal Arrow Sox stuns up Sox, but he's very low. He's exhausted. The Ren coming, he's gonna come out, he's gonna rend out Wax, but he will fall to Ghost Moon's finest damage. There's the Crescendo off of the level 6, but that no more follow-up. I think should have come out sooner. 
<laughs> he just hit level 6. He did it? Oh, kill. okay, okay. That explains. Oh, Singularity now fighting in the Spirit Fire up against Lord Anthony, but there's the Ragnarok. Here's the Fury of the Sands. Lord Anthony and Singularity both pop their ghosts, but there's the Soul from under toast. Singularity chasing it down. There's another one. He gets the Reckless Swing, and he will pick up the solo kill up in the top lane. And then in a desperate situation like that, when you're Nasus and you're about to die, you might as well try to get off one quick little Q. For the sustain, the yeah. sustain might help you live. You don't know, oh, but here we go. There's the. It's worth the shot. It's worth. Redwater runs into lane. He's like, ah, they saw me at a control ward. I see. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and take that. Cruise away. Guardian Shinobi having a little bit of a better time holding up in mana here. Shogo, he sees Redwater as he places down a ward, but Redwater is like, oh, there's a ward here. I think their jungler is also here. <laughs> Despite throwing Oh, Ghostland's uh, Finest zoned away, has to flash over the wall. Shmogen trades his flash for that of yeah, Ghostland's that's, that's Finest. That's a little bit more favor or in favor of Nautilus, though. He was that Q all in pressure like that. The other uh, support having, it's, having their uh, flash down is. Pretty important for him. Any AQ could very easily be a kill on him. So. Yeah, I mean, look how fast Ghost Lone's finest has died in these skirmishes, for sure. And um, one of the big reasons why Callista's coming back, they get, just recently gave her the buff where she still continues to stack Ren stacks while it's on cooldown, as well as the fact big that buff. Blade of the Rune King is now a much better at an early game item. But hold on a second, Guardian Shelby, not gonna find the last Exclaim shot. They'll just come in, put down some harass, force her back towards her tower. That was that was a very like you know, maybe it didn't seem all that big when you just sort of read it, but it is in and it does end up being a pretty big change. Because now if you rent for that damage, but you've oh had hold on a second there, flash forward for the base called a root ghost and finest. They pull him back in with a dredge line. The crescendo not available. He will get rended down. A nice that play by the that we were talking training. about. Now that they know Sona's flash is down. That was a really nice read by the legends in training. Actually. But yeah, that blade of the ring king rush now very good on Callista. She gets a lot of uh, she gets more flat AD. It builds in towards the Runon's hurricane. More on hit damage. The Hawkshot going to spot out the Dragon going down in favor of the Legends in training, but it's highly unlikely that Swasu Elbow Club is going to be able to test this one, especially with the Callista. It's going to be able to smite anything at any point. <laughs> okay. Early smite, that's all picks up the Dragon. <laughs> or not early smite, but early rend. Yep. The Rotate is similarly up into the mid lane here, after having shoved in Lord Anthony. I think one thing, they, Riot's, you know, they've been trying to buff up ink supports a little bit in ways, you know, like, the, they put in Stoneborn Pack trying to help out there, there was some small buffs to Knight's Vow before, um, and one thing that you mentioned with Arden Sensor being a really strong pick, with the addition of Stoneborn, we haven't really seen people do it yet, but they've started to talk about it, started to try it, that if you're a tank support, you can still pick up an Arden if you have Stoneborn and basically provide team-wide attack speed steroids. Yeah, exactly. And so, they, they've Plus rise kind of given... a little tiny bit of yeah. amplified <laughs> healing. Amplified healing, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, Riot's given tank supports, you know, some options there. And they, you know, they might not come back quite yet, but they are stronger than they were before. And, you know, that helps Callista because her ultimate paired with tank champions tends to be a little bit better than pairing it with, like, a Zyra. Someone squishy you don't really want to throw into the enemy. Frozen Heart finished off for uh, Lord Anthony. is going to give him that CDR he wants. It's going to help him survive some of these all-ins coming in from Singularity. And now, Lord Anthony, if he trades correctly, he should start winning out in trades up against uh, the Olaf. And the Wither, Spearfire goes out. It looks like Lord Anthony is maxing the Q, because otherwise that... He should have done a lot. Yeah, no, he, he did. He is maxing the yeah, So he's going stack Gnosis, which is generally a weaker way of playing him comparatively. Quasis is not actually all that cheap. It is quite yeah, good at pushing good. waves and getting lots of CS. The Legends in training invading into the enemy side of the jungle. They're looking for a big dive here. Smoking gonna take away the control ward. They still got the fate call, but the last extinction shot on the two. There's the death charge, and well as the right of the arcane goes and finest makes it out with a tiniest bit of health, but they will find red water in return. Fate call pulls it back in, knocks up, goes and finest there's a double kill onto Sox, and now Wax under the tower. There's some damage. They're gonna let him tank it up, and Wax will go down. Shogo X12 picks up that one. Smoking will fall. Oh no, Dustball! 
Dust Ball takes another tower <laughs> shot. It's not gonna die. Really should have had Shogo be the one tanking that one up. They they did put Nautilus in front on purpose. It looks like, but I think. Singularity going in on the Lord Anthony. There's the Ragnarok to cancel out the Spirit or uh, the Wither. He's putting him down. Fury of the Sands turns around. He puts down damage on the Singularity. He actually probably could have won this one had he just turned, but in the end he will fall down. Yeah, I was unsure of uh, how the All In would go for the Olaf, seeing that he did pick up that chain vest, chain vest instead of going for the Black Cleaver, and you know, the Frozen Heart is completed. But it looks like he made that one work, although, like you said, maybe had the Nasus played that a little bit, but differently, Olaf would have had it back. Uh, in general, what you want to do is, if you're if the Olaf is fighting onto you, at this point, you should know, hey, I'm, I'm a Nasus, I've got Frozen Heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting away, but at this point in the game, I can definitely actually Try win this 1v1. Shmogen walking in onto two members of the Swasu LOL Club. Lord Anthony has actually teleported back in now. Since he literally is withered, he's going to get feared up here. He has no Ragnarok to get out of here. He will finally go down. Or will he? He will finally go down. But that was the flash out of Redwater when he didn't need to. <laughs> yeah. But without Ghost and Ragnarok... That is quite but what I was saying is, Lord Anthony, he's fighting a melee champion, just put down your spirit fire and stand in it. And just take the fight, basically. Yeah, exactly. So, Tower, First Blood, having already gone down in the bottom lane, they will pick up another one. Oh, there's the That's Infinite Duress, not quite gonna find Dust Ball, but there's Shockwave pulls in two members of the Legends and training the spirit fire comes out, and Shannon Crossroyal almost found the last one, but Swasu Elo Club pick up one. Even when you don't land the ult, it does make for a decent gap closer. <laughs> Put him right on top of the enemy. Oriana ball on him. Oh, pick up two. Almost a double kill, but just socks this stuff. Uh, Redwater, uh, he does not have the Tiamat like we would have expected him to have. He actually didn't even have a rejuvenation lead in his inventory. So I'm curious as to did he start potions? I wasn't paying attention. There's the stun, hold on, the Gaussian Ocean's Finest, the Dredge Line blocked up by minions, so Gaussian's Finest knocked up by the Death Charge, means he can't dodge the second one. <laughs> Dustball picks up another one, and Ghostland's Finest with a very disrespectful pathing just gets stunned up and killed. Yeah, there's a small miscommunication there that you notice. Callista was walking towards bot lane as Centralarity was, but they, she should have seen that he was going to get there and move whole lane first, and yeah, she just got him. She's going there now, but that's just, you know, some small things to work on, like try and keep, no, don't just keep an eye on where the enemy is, but where your own team is heading as well. Try to be where you're needed. Okay, Shogo, he's going to less it seems from Lord Anthony because Sox is here, and Lord Anthony going to turn it around, but this is not the fight you wanted to take. <laughs> Fury of the Sands is not going to come out. There's a lot of damage out of Callista despite the Frozen Heart. Yeah. Even the Wither onto the Callista, she's still able to rend in for quite a bit of damage. Has the Blade of the Rune King already finished, and... Building very quickly into that Runon's Hurricane. 7, 3, and 1. Oriana not really feeling bad about roaming right now because her tower is down, so she's going to go up to the top to try and hold against the Callista and Sir Shmogan. But she might have a hard time. Sir Shmogan doesn't have his hold, but Callista does. Ball is going to knock out Guardian Shinobi. <laughs> the ball's on Sox oh. and he shockwaves as he hops forward. Guardian Shinobi going to lose his tower and his life. Yeah, he was trying to ult sooner there, but he got a little bit CC'd by the Q out of the Nautilus, and it delayed his ultimate. You know, he was probably just hitting the R key. And when the ultimate did finally come through, it wasn't on top of this. Unfortunately, Guardian Shinobi being where he really shouldn't be, you gotta keep track of how <laughs> healthy your towers are, how easy it is for the enemy team to dive you. Looking some training, stealing away the blue buff here. They're gonna try and hit it off the dust ball. He will finally pick it up. Shogo already started off onto this dragon. It'll be the second of the game for the Legends in training. Another ocean. On a bit of poke composition, you know. It's not necessarily the worst thing. Especially to deny it from them when you're trying to play with a Z-Rath. You know, the Sona has... I so the Sona just last hitting, I guess... After Wax. Oh, and Chanic is going to find Dust Ball Infinite Dress chained in, and Dust Ball is just going to fall over. You know, I was just trying to figure out when Sona was picking up CS, because she actually has 28 CS right now, which is like. What? I mean, it's more than I guess I'd expect to see out of it. And Dust Ball, he, you, he saw the Swasu LOL Club clearing minions in the mid lane. There's no reason for a Zerath of all champions to be that far up against Warwick and Ash with their ultimates up. 
It's one of those times where you're really into trying to... Hold on a second, last six seems to have on Ghost of Finest. There's the Ghost, after the Singularity. He already throws the Ragnarok, so means Crescendo doesn't do anything. Wax now getting aggressive and he has to flash away. The Ragnarok will finally expire. Legends in training come out with one after having lost their mid laner. That's one of those times where, you know, it's, it's apparent that it's very easy to forget what abilities the enemy team has. You know, like, sometimes you're just like, most games, yeah, you might be able to stand here. So you just, you know, you stand there. But you're not, you're not thinking, this game has a Nocturne Oriana, or this game has a Ash Arrow, you know? Like, those are some things that you got, really got to think, like, can I stand here against this team? You know, like Aurelian Soul League, another yeah, champion who can exactly. kind of pop in over some weird walls. Well, Lord Anthony pops the ghost because he was in the enemy jungle. He's going to get the... Uh, nice blast going over, but Sox flashes over. Oh, he puts out a lot of damage onto him, but he's gonna get rended. Dustball will take him out as well. And Wax, what the heck was Wax doing? Walks right up to Singularity. He's gonna get slowed up, but it doesn't matter. He's able to just chase him in through the tower. That honestly looked like he was looking at top lane. Or like, it looked like he clicked oh, Bates on call. Number. He's gonna oh. throw the Nautilus over the wall, but he gets taken out by the Shockwave. He will Baron's survive. Take Baron down. is autoing down into Shogo. Now Singularity's in trouble, yes. No Ragnarok available. Infinite Duress keeps him in place. He smite it up and throws out the Undertow. He's running for his life. He's gonna get the slow flash war from Redwater. We'll take the kill out. In the end, Sox did survive that attack yeah, from Baron. I thought Baron was gonna take him down. That was sure. super disrespectful from Sox, though, to walk up to the ball, even if he was trying to throw Singularity over the, or, uh, Sir Smokin over the wall. He had to burn that summoner heal, or else he would have just actually gotten 100. Three over. members here. There are five members of Swasu making their way here. So if they get too aggressive, that's gonna be bad for them. This is another situation where Xerath is a little bit close and Ash has arrow, so she's not gonna go for it now. Yeah. And uh, Singularity is building towards a Trinity Force, it looks like, Ooh. which is really not <laughs> what you want at all on, on Olaf. Yeah, sure, the Spellblade gives you a little extra burst, but that's nothing compared to Hitting what? One more. He doesn't have anything. Then you, you actually. <laughs> oh, one wax actually that. jumped on by the last thing. He takes a lot of damage from Dust Ball's Q. Oh, you will get the Dust Ball here. Didn't quite have hold off until that one. No, I kind of. I, oh, Shockwave's gonna pull Dust Ball in. He flashes away from the last auto attack. Oof, there's his flash down for an ult. That's always worth. Well, I mean, okay, not always. 90% of the time that's worth because the flash has a much longer. Legends in training, they're winning out in this game, but they're playing super disrespectfully, not respecting where the ball is, not respecting the Ash arrow. Definitely need to try and keep that in mind. Like, they are a good bit ahead about, let's see, where are we at now? Six yeah, points. About, ooh, less just, a little just under little 6k. Under 6K. Well, the head, but like, you still have to try and make like the best decision possible to make that lead effective. If you're making good decisions and you have a lead, you're gonna start taking towers and objectives fairly quickly. You just have to keep that mindset. You can't let yourself think you can do something crazy just because you have to. You know? just, just play, play. Uh, you don't have to make take a lot of risk when you're. A He definitely kind of sensing. He's like, ah, <laughs> maybe. All right, but three members of the Swasu LOL club here pushing in the mid lane. The Legends in training not ahead on the play. They're going to have the inside track here, but they're all running away from Singularity. It's just him, but he turns on the Ghost and finds Pops the Ragnarok. There's the Undertow. He's exhausted down. He's going to have a Crescendo a little bit too early. They stun him up, and he's going to be able to walk away after the Crescendo ends. But here's the Fates Call. Knocks up Redwater. Sir Smogan going into the back line because Redwater's definitely for sure dead. The Shockwave does not matter. The Death Charge knocks him up. Oh, Lord now Anthony's Lord Anthony in the back maybe, line, but he he's in the middle of a lot of members. Exhaust goes down. He's going to get rooted in place. He's going to get rended out. Double kill over to um, Sog. Shogo in the meantime going very low, but not falling over to Wax. And, and Guardian Shinobi this. continuing to run. There's the flash over from Smogan. Roots him up with the auto attack. Stun from Dust Ball. They put down all the damage and they will take him out. Sox goes unstoppable. 11 3 and 3. Yeah, Shogo's looking for Ash here. Yeah, Wax he will get his recall off. Alright, uh, during that chase, that's like one of those moments where you, whoever's in the very back is probably not going to end up being useful. They need to go start shoving mid lane. Yeah. You know, like it doesn't matter if you're low, if there is an Ash to the bot lane, one person being chased, three dead. You know, if you're low, that's okay in that situation. You need to go shove go up the mid lane so, you're not so your team can come and not doing anything else. Singularity. Alright, Wax needs to be very careful. 
here. This is three champions that can very easily dive in. Oh no, Dustball gets power aggro. Around. He's creep locked in. He's gonna get the infinite duress, and it'll just fall over. Redwater getting jumped onto Singularity, and he's got the sustain. Singularity actually pops the Ragnarok, but he's gonna fall down oh. to double kill for Redwater and Dustball. Not playing that very yeah, well. Huge wax at the end of that range and was just under turret, but then he got creep blocked and ended up taking like two or three shots. His team did not try to help oh, him. Most of is getting jumped back on. Shogo turns her way. Smogan now is the one who needs to be very careful. He's gonna take some damage. Ghost or, uh, Guardian Shogo comes over with the ball. Gets the commander text. Lawsuit now on the chase. They're gonna get the moose speed from that one. Shogo gonna jump away with the elastic team talk. There's the depth charge to disengage the fight. They're gonna lose the Ocean Dragon after that series of events, most likely, but at least they didn't have anybody go down for it. Socks, gonna get spotted out here by Ghostlands Finest. I, they didn't go for the dragon. Very interesting. Might be a little bit afraid at the, uh, you know, yeah. lead that they've given the other team at this point. The trending force on Olaf is just overall not very efficient. You don't get as much HP from the Black Cleaver, and like after the armor reduction you get from Black Cleaver, like a second Undertow is probably going to do equivalent and, damage to that spell. You know, if, if your intention is to still push on a champion like Olaf, there are some oh, arrow used. There's the damage. The blue team picks up the dragon. There's the right of the arcane, and the Lux gets blown up. Shockwave pulls in both my bottom lane of the legends and training. Sucks still alive. He flashes away into the pit from Lord Anthony, who's trying to find him. He will. Siphoning strike him down, gets the shutdown, and now he turns around. Spirit fire onto Dust Ball, pulled away by Smoke, and he's oh, trying to deal with this. The ghost wither onto Dust Ball. There's another one. He's gonna get the spirit fire. Siphoning strike still available. Ghostland's finest goes very low, but they pop them has it. Guardian Shinobi finally takes off Shogo X12. And Lord Anthony has won the 2v1. Now have to back away from the teleport, but Guardian Shinobi here to back him up. Command Protect comes out. Shmogan now running for his life. Withers onto Singularity. Singularity now chasing down Guardian Shinobi who has to flash over the wall. Ragnarok pop. Lord Anthony now continuing to use the siphoning strike to keep himself alive. Shmogan. Wow, that's a lot of life steal. He's got the wither, he's got the blue buff, he's not gonna run out of mana anytime soon. Singularity to going down very slowly, but he will fall. Lord Anthony Ooh. is scaling up. Yeah, he has the spirit visage, he has the ninja tabi, he has the frozen heart, he has a lot of stacks of IQ just just because of where we're at in the game at this point. He is going to be tough for them to take down. They're going to need to pick up an Executioner's Calling or a Morello, which they have. They, they have, have the Morello, Morello onto Dustball. But Ball. when Dustball was fighting him, it was just Dustball. The mage is not the easiest person to take down the Nasus with against that <laughs> lifesteal, yeah. especially. And the thing is, um... Singularity, sin Trinity Force is like definitely falling off compared to what a Black oh, Cleaver would oh, be. Oh, yeah. Like, that's like. It and brings up. He, I was going to mention earlier that there are lots of, you know, much tankier split push options like Sunfire's Easy Rot, Titanic, even. Like, just yeah. things that give you tons of wave clear and, you know, a little bit more damage, a little bit more damage to towers, especially as Easy Rot. It's a ton of damage to towers. But you don't need to get Triforce if you're playing split push. You know, yeah. like you, there are much better tanky get split Triforce on champions you. that benefit from Triforce. Yeah. Don't get Triforce <laughs> on champions that don't benefit from Triforce. Yeah. But and and also the Mercury's Treads is a highly questionable decision for this Olaf when you have Gnosis, Warwick, and Ash all autoing you. And that's basically all of their damage. <laughs> um, Ninja Tabi's actually being overpowered and situationally good against this team. I don't see why you wouldn't go for it, especially since you don't directly need the tenacity since you have Ragnarok. Yeah, if um, it's, it's one of those situations where you might like solve a lot of problems with a little bit of foresight. You know, make sure if you're going at least a little bit into the defensive tree to pick up the tenacity mastery and just maybe plan on picking up. Honestly, like, even if you don't quite have full build yet. Oh, and Shadow Crystal Arrow is going to go onto Dust Ball. There's the disengage from the phase call, and actually they're going to use it as engage because the Elastic Sage came in. Shockwave pulls in Socks, and Socks gets blown up. Redwater takes out the first kill of the fight. And there's the redemption, keeping them all alive. Redwater will flash his way to safety and make it up. Elastic Sing shot over the wall. Wax picks up Smokin. There's the Red of the Arcane. The Luton's Echo coming out, and he will not find anyone with those first three shots. The fourth shot not being used. At least I didn't see it. I think Nasus came over there. Yeah, I had to pull him off of it. And now Shogo has to run away. Swasu pick up their first kill of the fight. Sinji already in the back line. Flash over the wall from Ghostland's Finest. He's already used the Ragnarok as the Ghost. He has Wither on him. I think the Spall DC that just they Singularity now running for his life. There's the Ragnarok, not gonna let him get feared up. Um, 
make sure you make your games in tournament draft. I, I don't know, it seems like he's just... Yeah, he's definitely just standing there. Yeah, make sure your games are in tournament draft so you can use he's the slash He's back now, pod. he's recalling. Okay, well, so you can use the slash pause command in case somebody DCs. Just triple, throw that out there. Yeah, triple O2 great for, uh, for the Legends in training. They had control of this game for quite a while, but now... Um, we see, we see uh, the Swazu LOL Club coming out ahead in a lot of these fights. Yeah, they've done a good job of getting onto this Kalista, and they just haven't been able to stop them in the last couple of fights. They need to maybe go Redwater and Cincinnati going at it. The Fear's not going to find anything, and Cincinnati's like, eh, bye bye. They need to make sure that they are putting appropriate focus on the Warwick and Nexus too, to keep the pressure on them at least a little bit to keep them away from the Kalista. But I think the tanks are putting their focus on the back line, all, of, all three of them, and then they have no one left to Peel. try and help the Kalista. Because so Zach jumping in, and if you have your Olaf, just charge the back line. This is a really like interesting build from Wax, actually. He's went the Essence Reaver into a Blade of the Rune King, which mm -hmm. is definitely not Duh. all standard. <laughs> um, there is a new build coming out for Ash recently, actually, in High Korean Challenger. But since there, he's going to get the Zero into the Ragnarok. Doesn't need to walk back in there and take too much damage. But the Legends in training, uh, the, they see four members in the bottom lane. They start off this... Baron! I don't know if you need to use Red and the Arcane for that, but... Uh, uh, and the Ren not used <laughs> appropriately either, but they do secure the Baron for themselves. Yeah, definitely did not need to use Red of the Arcane there, but... I just kept cycling through his ability. For the yeah, but the Swasu Ella looks like showing so many members not even finding Singularity, and they give up a Baron uncontested. Really nice up, uh, forward play from the Legends in Training. But yeah, there is a new build for Ash in high-level Korean Challenger, which consists of rushing a Blade of the Rune King into a Rune on Hurricane and then into a Black Cleaver, since your <laughs> Ranger's focus will apply all the stacks of that Black Cleaver instantly, with the Rune on supplying it to everybody. But Essence Reaver into no crit into Blade of the Rune King makes absolutely no sense at all. <laughs> since you're there, he gets the control war, but he might have to bob Ragnarok for it. Ghostless Planus actually just runs past him. <laughs> He's like, ah, maybe this isn't the side of the Olaf I want to be honest. Since you're there, he has no Ragnarok left. He's withered up. There's the Imbin, there's the Dust Ball. He's going to stun up Redwater. There's some damage from Socks and Socks going to rend him away. Since you're there, now still running for his life. Lord Anthony going to get locked away with a blast code. Death Charge goes on to Guardian Shinobi, but Shrogan is by himself. Why is the support all by himself. Shogo goes in with the Elastic Chief on the three. They knock away Guardian Shinobi who flashes over the wall. Sox now trying to fight away. Kite away from Lord Anthony. He has the flash. The Wither still on him. He's taking a lot of damage and Lord Anthony will get rendered. The exhaust goes down. Sox will be able to take him out at the very last second. There's the right of the arcane used. Ghost is fighting six first two shots. Third shot lands. Fourth shot will find him and Dreadslide pulls him back in. Fifth shot missed because he anticipated him running, but they will find a kill anyway. Legends of Training starting off the Infernal Drake that will be four dragons to zero. The dragon is going to be for that team. They actually already have three Osha dragons. You can see how fast Shogo is regenerating just like, with his he has spirit visage. Uh, Zach has one of the higher, you know, just base health regens of the game, and then he has three oceans. And as soon oh. as that fight ends, he's just I'm back his health bar is he's almost full. Yeah, and that's one of the other big things about ocean dragons is that if you just want to very, very close to fight your ugly health bar, you can. Oh wow! Guardian Shinobi walks forward as his tower goes down, gets jumped on, and dies. That's gonna be. That honestly could potentially be. The game, depending on how they play this, they have Baron and all five members, and Ocean yeah, is Legends keeping them nice and just healthy. continuing to push in here. The Swans and Willow Club not respecting them. Last that seems on the Lord Anthony. There's the infinite rest on the Dust Ball. The Crescendo keeps them in place. Sox is on a killing three. Redwater still finds the mid laner, but he's now dead. Death Charge. Used on to Guardian oh It is the Ghost Lens Finest. The last two shot finds him. He gets pulled back in triple kill over to Sox. That will be the quadra kill over for the AD carry, the Legends in training, and they will end the game here. Legends of Training take out the second Nexus Tower. They're going to pick up the Nexus, and they will win game one over the Swasu LOL Club. He kills his support, throws him into the base just before it ends. But it doesn't matter. 18, 5, and 4 for Sox Callista. Yeah, that Callista was doing... She had a good early game, you know, got some leads, and she was able to translate them after some rough fights in the mid-game there where she went down too fast to really make use of her advantage. 
in the late game they were able to you know pull out the team fights yeah. make it happen and there are some very questionable decisions on both sides especially in terms of item builds but at the end of the day uh game one does go over to the legends in training we're gonna take a short break before we go into game two yep. uh so thanks guys for watching and see you in just a few minutes yep bye <laughs>